Hey everybody, welcome to Luxury Life. Today we're going over the most expensive home in the world. Make sure you watch till the end because you don't want to miss the crazy unbelievable facts about this home and we've a surprise in the video. The most expensive house in the world is in downtown Mumbai, the largest city in India, not far from the gigantic slums on the famous Altamont Road. It's called Antalya and is the most expensive house ever built. This home is set over 27 stories and is approximately 568 feet tall, giving residents a beautiful view of the Arabian Sea. If you look closely, this house is only the second most expensive home to own in the world. And you should also look closely if you've subscribed to this channel, but for now let's move on. Buckingham Palace, which is worth around $5 billion, is always the undefeated number one when it comes to the most expensive home ownership. However, it is crown owned in Antalot as a private residence, and the most expensive of these, with a few price estimates going as high as $2 billion. Write in the comments if you would also like to live in such a private residence. Today, I'll take you on an informative virtual tour of this absolutely luxurious property. Lean back and enjoy because there are multiple ceilings that are double or triple high in this massive house, making the 27-story skyscraper look more like a 60-story building. Imagine if the building were only as high as a normal 27-story building. Ridiculous! Some of the lower floors consist of a multi-level car park that can accommodate 168 vehicles, including Mukesh's prized RS5 Core Maybach. This is a car for really important people. There is also a car repair shop in the parking lot, but not only cars are taken care of, there are three helipads on the roof. Few things say you're a billionaire like a rooftop helipad. The landing pads on the roof and the private car parking lot are violations of the housing code in Mumbai. But so far no one has forced the billionaires to make any changes to it. The car park leads to an extravagant lobby, which can be reached with nine elevators. A little bit higher is a two-story recreation center with a lap pool, gym, juice bar, dance studio, and yoga studio. Floors like this are what brought people like Jeff Bezos from his I Sell books to his I Sell Anything I Want attitude. If you climb even further, you will find a ballroom and a SPA area. 80% of the ceiling of the ballroom is decorated with crystal chandeliers and the remaining 20% of the ceiling is rather plain. Now for the entertainment options in this building. There is a 50-seat cinema, several balconies and terraces with lush gardens. The plants of the gardens hang over the elegant forecate along the house. The vegetation that is attached to the walls of the house should absorb the sunlight and thus keep the interior as cool as possible. With this method, the electricity bill will hopefully not be quite as monstrous. It's a lot of luxury to escape the busy, stressful streets of Mumbai, but there's more to it than that. The house also has an ice room with its own snow generator, so you have your own winter wonderland. Willy Wonka would be proud of its wonderland. The beautiful structure of the house was designed by Chicago architect Perkins, Will, and the interior design was overseen by an Australian firm called Leeton Holdings. Only six people live in this massive building of 400,000 square meters, and it also offers space for 600 employees. Cooks, security guards, cleaning staff, all find their place in this building. So the size of this property seems less exaggerated, doesn't it? I can't believe it, but when you split it up that's exactly 100 employees per person, that should be enough or what do you think? The name Antalya comes from a legendary island, which is also called the Island of the Seven Cities. The history of the island comes from an old Liberian legend in which the bishops fleeing the Muslim conquest of Hispania fled to the island and established seven settlements there. Not much more is known about this fun fact and no one is quite sure why the owners of the house named it that. But the great thing about being a billionaire is that nobody questions your decisions. When you look at this huge structure, it is no wonder that the construction cost not just a few million, but a few billion euros. This architectural masterpiece was crafted with Hindi influence and houses many religious symbols. Within the 27 floors there are six sections representing the elements of water, earth, fire, clay, air, and light. These elements were placed to mimic the ascension to enlightenment. Two motifs appear again and again in the villa, namely the sun and the lotus. The symbols represent rebirth. Materials such as crystal, marble, and even mother of pearl represent these themes. The house even has a temple, which the family regularly uses to pray. There are also many Hindu deities in the house, including the Hindu god Ganesh. 
He is worship is the remover of obstacles, and Shiva destroys to make room for new creation. In addition to all these religious motifs, the building is also said to have been inspired by the Atlantic Ocean. The owner of this incredible $2 billion home is Mukesh Ambani, chairman of Reliance Industries and a big player in the petroleum business. And who would have thought it, of course also the richest person in India. He is responsible for one slash fifth of India's exports, which is absolutely incredible considering that India accounts for a third of the world's population. His father founded a company that became the world's largest manufacturer of yarns and polyester fibers. Mukesh has multiplied his inheritance many times over and is now considered one of the richest men in Asia. For a long time, he was even a member of the top 10 richest people in the world, and when the stock market rose enormously in 2007, he was even considered the richest man in the world. He's now settled comfortably in 10th place with around $98.4 billion. You're probably wondering who is now ahead of him in the list, so there is a list of the meanwhile richest people on Earth. Let's go! Elon Musk, USA Bernard Arnault and Family, France Jeff Bezos, USA Bill Gates, USA Larry Ellison, USA Larry Page, USA Warren Buffett, USA Mark Zuckerberg, USA Sergey Brin, USA Mukesh Ambani, India Imagine your name popping up on one of these lists. Be sure to write in the comments how you would feel about it. Mukesh is simply the only person from Asia to make the top 10 richest people. The majority comes from the USA. No wonder. Mumbai is the commercial capital of India and is also known as the city that never sleeps. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? But that's not the only instance where they've taken some inspiration from the US. Since the city is also home to the Indian entertainment industry, it is also known as Bollywood two things they stole from the United States. The city has the most expensive house in the world, but unfortunately also the largest slums on Earth. Fun fact, the movie Slumdog Millionaire was filmed in Mumbai, like if you saw the film at school back then. Public reception of the home has been harsh at best and I believe abusive neighbors are standard when you have such an expensive home in such a neighborhood. Although the house was built in the richest area in all of Mumbai, the contrast between poverty and wealth in this city is not hard to see. Jayan Prakash tells the New York Times in 2010 that this building reflects how the rich are turning their faces away from the city. 50% of Mumbai residents live in slums. In no other place in the world is the gap between wealth and poverty so great. However, the charitable deeds of the family should not be neglected. Among other things, they founded a hospital. Mita Ambani, Luke Ash's wife also has numerous philanthropic endeavors. This is all great, but no one will ignore this gigantic mansion towering over the city or the other indulgences of Mukesh other than the mansion. A few years before Antalya was built, he bought his wife an Airbus for her birthday for over $60 million. He had the plane fitted with a bedroom, a living room, satellite television, a sky bar, and a spa. Unlike many other families who are so wealthy, the Ambani family only owns this one house. In the beginning they even shared the house with Mukesh's mother and his brothers. What many also don't know is that all of his children went to college in the United States. Isha, his eldest daughter, graduated from Yale. Her twin brother Akash and her younger brother both have degrees from Brown University. So that's it for today with the richest building in the world. We're really interested in what you have to say about it and don't forget to subscribe. Peace out. <laughs>